this Resolve 16 video, I'm going to go over how you could use animated mats to create transitions in Resolve. And more specifically, I'm going to be demonstrating with the Shutterstock Video Editor Toolkit, which is a pack that uh, Shutterstock released about two years ago that includes 220 plus free animations, presets, overlays, and more. And includes some transitions, which are basically just animated mats. So I will demonstrate how you use the ones that are available in the pack. So I'll put this link to this site down in the description so you could download it yourself. Just come down here, scroll down. They do have uh, some video tutorials on how to use it, but it's mostly for Adobe products. So you really can't use those in Resolve. So I will show you how to do it within Resolve. But you just scroll down to the page here, click download now. I think it's about one half, two gigabytes total. Uh, comes as a zip file, then you unzip it. And when you unzip it, you'll get a folder like this. It's called SSTK Video Editor Toolkit. So you double click on the Video Editor Toolkit, and this gives you different folders here for your different parts of the pack. So you want to go to Animations and Transitions. Double click on that, and then we're coming to Transitions, and it includes these, what is it, nine transitions here? So you can use any one of them. So once you have that, you're going to go into, I'll show you, you're going to go into Resolve, open it up, go into your edit page, and add some of your footage that you want to transition from into. So I have two different clips here that I'm going to use for the transition. And you also want to make sure you drag the one of those transitions from that folder that you unzipped into your media pool here. So I have one of them here, which is transition five. So you're going to add your media, your clips to your timeline. So you want the first one on video one. So I'm going to drag this first clip down, put that in video one, and uh, Hit Shift Z to fit it to the view here. Then I'm going to shrink it down here a little bit. I drag, trim it down. Then I'm going to add my second clip above the first one on track two. I'm going to take this footage here and move it in here. Now what you want to do is you can double click on this and see in your source here and play it through to see what it looks like. And you can see it's a circular animation going from black to white, which is what we're going to use as the mat. What you want to see, what you want to do is see how long it is, how the actual, how long the transition actually lasts. So we'll move it through here and see at what frame it goes all the way totally white. And that's basically at 1 second 11, so that's 41 frames. So what we're going to do is come to the top clip here, because it's going to be going along. We're going to see this first video, and then it's going to transition to the second one, and then continue on. So this is the clip we're going to be doing the uh, transition and how we're going to be doing that is going switching to the color page. But first we have to set something up is that we got to make a clip that's as long. Basically, uh, we're going to make a cut in this footage here so that we have a clip that's as long as this transition so that when the transition is over, it'll go from the one clip to the other. So again, this is one second and 11 frames. So that's 41 frames. So we got to go to the start here. And then we're going to go forward 41 frames. So that's 41 frames. So we're going to make a cut. And then we could take, move the head here, and we want to make sure that this lines up, this cut lines up perfectly with the end of this one. So we just select both these clips and move it until that's aligned. And once that's aligned, we're all set up. So we just will put the playhead over this clip. And this is where the transition is going to happen. So to do the transition, we're going to switch to the color page. So you switch to the color page here. And we're on that clip we just created. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a mat. So first thing you want to do is create an alpha output. So over here in these node area here, you right click click add alpha output and then click and drag from the alpha here to the alpha output. Now to create something or to use a mat, you can take something from that uh, you want to use as a mat that's in your media pool here. And again, it's going to be something that goes from white to black. And this is an animated mat. So you right click on that and come down here and click on add as mat for color page clip. Click on that. Now it's available over here in the node area. So all you have to do is right click on this footage here, on this node, 
Come down here to add mat, and you'll see it listed here. So you click on that transition. That's now going to use that. You can see it here. And if you don't see this, you're just going to come over to this tab here. And this will be is basically your key tab. And then I'll show the mat here. And you also want to select the mat. That way you can actually uh, configure it. So if we, by default, if we go to the beginning of this, you can see the mat go through. And you can see it both down here in the key. And if we play it through, you can see it goes through. Now you can un down here, but still the only thing that uh, you might want to do is uncheck loop. Even though we've made the clip small enough that it's probably not going to loop, but it's probably a good idea just to uncheck that loop. And that's pretty much all there is to it. If you come over to edit page now, if we play through, it'll transition from the bottom clip. And when it gets to this one, you'll see the transition and then it continues on with the other clip. Now you can do that with any of the transitions that come in that folder. Or you can use any other mat that either you create, you can create it in Fusion or some other program. You can either use a just static one frame mat or something like in this case, use an animated mat. So that's how you create transitions with using mats in Resolve 16. Now with Resolve 16.2, they've added the new feature of Fusion transitions which actually are easier to use because they're basically the same as the built-in transitions. Now, I do have a video on this channel that shows uh, how to use the Fusion transitions and make your own and edit the ones that are here. So I'll link that down in the description. But hopefully you found this video useful. And I do thank you for watching.